So Dominic, who am I likely to attract according to my tension patterns? Well, Caroline, if your tension pattern and how you show up is consistent with what you attract in life, we got some work to do. Caroline's obviously a beautiful woman. Um, her, her tension patterns were, were they, um, where her tension is in her spine is consistent. I always see that the same with spouses. So for example, if a woman comes in and she has a significant fear pattern, when I meet their spouse, they have the exact same pattern. Mm -hmm. When I take an x-ray of, of the wife and I see how her neck is distorted, the husband's is the same. So somehow we attract our mirror and who we uh, um, get in relationship with is because they see life the same way, which makes sense because our body is our reality filter. Mm -hmm. The shape, position, and tone of our body is consistent with the shape, position, and tone of our life. Right? Depressed people don't walk around like this. They walk around like that. And they somehow connect and feel comfortable with other people who walk around that are in the same posture. So if you're in a relationship where you're like, I keep attracting one crazy woman from another crazy woman to another, like all the women are crazy, which was my past, uh, definitely through in, in a time in my life. I thought all women were nuts. They're beautiful, they're fun, but they're crazy. Well, that was a reflection of where I was at. And as I got under network care, that's actually one of the biggest changes I had was not only physically that I felt better, but I noticed in relationship, the relationships that I had at that time completely dissolved. And for the first time in my life, I started attracting women that had a completely different persona. They acted different. They communicated differently. And it was almost as if the more I got me worked on and me at a peaceful place, the more I started attracting more honoring relationships. It's a uh, work in progress, yeah. I guess is a, is a way to describe it. Mm -hmm. So with where Carolyn is at right now, Carolyn has a pretty good fear pattern. Her top of her neck rotates to the right, which is consistent with I'm not enough, I'm not worthy. So who is she going to meet in relationship? Someone who's got the same. And why would you ever want that? <laughs> I mean, if you could choose, is that what you would consciously choose? No, but that's what you're going to attract. So I often share with people, life is uh, uh, not about finding the right one. It's about becoming the right one. Because if you want something different, you must be that in order to attract that. And if you are in a relationship with someone and your patterns are totally different, it's, it's not sustainable. It's not going to work out because your story about life is different. What makes sense to you is different. And it's just they're just not going to have that intimacy, that connection. You're just not going to feel as comfortable with each other. Couples that come in here that have been together for anything more than a month or two and longer, their, their, their structural, their spine, their muscle tension patterns are usually very consistent. Mm -hmm. I have noticed that um, speaking about like mirroring, mirroring uh, with my past relationships, they were all pretty similar to me. So like, you know, I'll, like I'm confused. I don't know what, what I want to do or which path to take. A lot of them didn't know either or, or they were confused, um, weren't really doing much. So it makes a lot of sense. And now that I'm figuring it out, you know, I've left those relationships. So I'm on my pathway to figuring me. So if I could give some advice to Carolyn, I would say don't make any decisions based uh, as far as a relationship right now. Now's not a good time. Yeah. Uh, but instead, we're going to work on Carolyn and develop her to get her out of these I'm not enough pattern, mm -hmm. the lack of trust pattern. Why would you ever want to get in a relationship with someone who has, a lack of, uh, has an issue with trust? Yeah. Um, and as we work on Carolyn to get the tension lower and lower in those areas, mm -hmm. then you're going to be more of, who you would want to date, if that makes sense, or you would attract someone who's congruent with that. Mm -hmm. So if you find in your life that you're attracting one potato head after another potato head after another, it's not the potato heads that are the problem, mm -hmm. it's self. And as luck would have it, that's the only thing that, that we have control over is self. Mm -hmm. So we're going to not try to find the right one, we're going to try to become the right one. Mm -hmm. And uh, Network Care is the fast track to doing that. And the consciousness exercises are available. I mean, go to Corey's website, his members... Um, portal there mm -hmm. and the conscious exercises are there it's a great way to get started and it's something you can do on your own that in addition to the network care that we provide we're gonna help you work through these patterns mm -hmm. so what would you say was so my pattern would be fear trust 
fear, trust, I'm not enough. Uh, and then again, that mid neck, lower neck is the nervousness pattern. Mm -hmm. And it's right next to the lack of trust in relation to people. And I, I think it was borderline like paranoia. Mm -hmm. Paranoia. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So um, we're going to work on those patterns and free you of that perspective. Mm -hmm. You're going to see it different. You're going to feel different and you're going to attract different as a result of that.